What's going on guys? It's me, the computer nerd from the Womo Squad, and today I'm bringing you guys another awesome video. Um, in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial on how to remove background noise and make your voice sound like studio quality in a program called Audacity. Now, Audacity is free, and the link for it will be down in the description, but let's get right into this tutorial. So, um, right now, I'm not recording in Audacity, I'm recording with Fraps, as you can see. And, uh, this is going to be a tutorial on how to make your voice sound better. So, uh, first of all, what you need to do is record a voice clip. So, I'm going to do that right now. And you want to save five seconds in front of the clip with no noise. So, don't talk for five seconds. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. So there's our noise profile, guys. Um, if you guys want to listen to that, here you are. As you can see, that's uh, no noise. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. And there's the noise. So um, what you want to do, first of all, is you want to select this part of the track right here. This part with no noise. And you want to select it, and you want to click Effect. You want to click Noise Reduction and click get noise profile and you're done well you're not done yet but pretty much yes um... now you want to double click the file now that you've gotten the noise profile click effect noise reduction again and copy these settings here so noise reduction forty eight sensitivity zero and frequency smoothing zero next you want to just click ok and it will remove the noise for you and you have officially removed the noise so, um, what I like to do is I actually like to uh, delete this clip right here. So, you, you just go to this, you click Edit, Delete, and I'm also going to delete this part of the clip right here that I did not talk in. So, I'm just delete that, and there we go. Next, we want to normalize. So, I'll give you guys a quick run through of this with the noise reduction. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. So as you can see, not a major improvement, but we will get it to sound way better. Next, you want to normalize. So effect, you want to go to normalize, and copy my settings. Remove DC offset, and normalize maximum amplitude to negative one decibel. And then you want to click OK. Do not click. I mean, do not check normalize stereo channels independently. Just click OK, and you are done. Um, now that you've normalized it, we want to compress it. So you want to go to effect of course compressor and you want to change the threshold I like to put it on negative 17 or negative 18 but you guys can do it anywhere from negative 15 to negative 20 those are the good uh, settings um, noise floor negative 40 uh, ratio 2 to 1 attack time 0.20 seconds and release time is 1 second and uncheck makeup gain for 0 decibels after compressing and click OK as you can see, the waveforms just got smaller, and let's uh, hear the noise now. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. So as you can see, not a major improvement, but it still is improved a tiny bit. Next, what we want to do is we want to equalize it. So, effect, uh, equalization, and you want to click on base boost. It's the select curve base boost. Now this default value is great and uh, once you've done that you just want to set this to 4001. Uh, grids can be checked, it doesn't matter. And click OK. And that will base boost. So here's the tutorial of that. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. So there we go. That makes your manly or womanly voice sound more manly or womanly. Uh, next we want to go back to equalization and select treble boost in the select curve uh... this will make your voice sound more clear and more clarity is added so uh... same settings and click ok and there we go let's hear this the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog so as you can see already a major improvement from what we had in the beginning um... next we want to uh... normalize it again so effect normalize and the same exact settings and click OK and there we go it just makes the waveform a whole lot bigger uh, I just did that I don't know what that did with control Z 
There we go. Um, that makes the waveform bigger. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. There we go. Um, next, you want to hard limit. Um, the hard limit, I really do not have it. Uh, I don't know why, but if you guys want to hard limit it, um, just change the settings to near the highest settings and hard limit it. Um, next, we want to normalize again. So you want to go to... Uh, uh, okay, finally, there we go. Uh, you want to go to effect, uh, normalize, and same exact settings, normalize it again, and you're basically done, guys. So here is the, um, the audio track played back for you guys. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. So as you can see, it was a major improvement from what we had in the beginning, and, uh, yeah. So now what you want to do is you want to click file, and you want to click export audio. Now you don't want to export it as an mp3 as that will reduce the quality. You want to export it as a WAV or a WAVE, a Microsoft Signs 16-bit PCM and name it whatever you want. Uh, I'm just going to name this tutorial and you want to click save. Um, once you've saved that you can hear it and uh, put it into your favorite editing program or editing program of your choice. Uh, I prefer Sony Vegas of course but here's the audio the quick file. brown fox jumped over the lazy dog so still a major improvement now if you want to um, keep the uh, blank noise in the front you can noise remove as much times as you want so to do that just quick noise reduction and do quick ok as many times as you want and that can remove as much noise as you possibly can so if you guys did enjoy remember to rate comment and subscribe and I will see you all in the next awesome video guys